All right, hello friends. So returning to my roots again, today we're gonna be talking about SD cards. More specifically, today I'm gonna be giving you five proven and easy methods to fix a corrupt SD card. So let's get started. So if there's one thing that I want to accomplish with this video is that I want to get you that life-saving information that you need as quickly as possible. So I promise I'm gonna make this next part super brief. But I wanted to just quickly diagnose the problem and give you some common signs of a corrupt SD card so that you can actually verify that that is in fact the problem that you're dealing with. So first of all, if you put your SD card into your camera and it won't turn on, it doesn't work or it won't let you record or you get a black screen, then it's probably corrupted. If you put your SD card into your card reader and then plug it into your computer and it doesn't get recognized or just straight up doesn't show up at all, then you might be dealing with a bit of corruption. And finally, if any of your stuff is missing, like it was deleted and you know for a fact you didn't delete it, then you could probably bet on there being some corruption somewhere. And so now that we've gone over some of the common signs, now let's go over some of the best solutions. So starting in with method number one is just to use a different device to actually read the SD card inside of your computer. So as simple as it sounds, it should actually be second nature to make sure that it's not a problem with the SD card at all, because sometimes a bad SD card reader can honestly be the only thing between you and your files. So making sure that it's not the SD card reader and is in fact the SD card is a really important first step. So you can correct this by just picking up a different SD card reader from the store or using an entirely different computer if your SD card reader is built into your laptop, for example. But checking it with a different device or a different computer altogether is a good first step to ensure that it is in fact a problem with the SD card and not the reader. All right, so now let's move on to number two, which is going to be using a command inside of CMD called check disk in order to fix the corruption. So something that you should know about corruption, especially when it comes to SD cards or any kind of external media, is a lot of times file system or the bad file system on the card is what's to blame. So you can think of a file system as a sort of set of instructions that are formatted into the card that tell the computer how to read the data that's on it. And so if there's a mess up in the file system or something's not right, then there's gonna be problems. This actually happened to me once after I was done shooting a wedding, I almost lost 256 gigabytes of raw footage. Almost died, but I was able to use this command inside of CMD to fix it. And so here's how to do it yourself. First off, open CMD on your computer. And if it asks, then click run as administrator. Then enter this command and make sure to change F to the drive letter of your SD card. Then hit enter. And if the file system was the problem, then your SD card will be up and running, ready to go. All right, so we're about half done. We're gonna round the corner here to method number three, which is going to be changing the drive letter of your SD card to allow it to be at least recognized by your PC. So changing some of the metadata of the SD card, which in this case would be the drive letter, is a good way to help the computer recognize the card so that you can at least apply some different steps later on down the line. And it's super simple, quick, and easy, so here's how. Open Disk Management, and then right-click the SD card that you want to change the letter. Click Change Drive Letter, then select the Change button and choose from the list of available drive letters. And finally, click OK. Okay, so now we're gonna take a bit of a sharp turn into the rash decision category. So this method, method number four, will always work, but it involves formatting your SD card. Now, I just wanna be crystal clear here. Formatting an SD card will erase everything on it. Now, don't worry though, because after we format it, there is a way that we can use data recovery software to get all our files back, but I'll get to that in a minute. To format your card, open up Windows Explorer, find your card, right click it, and select format. I usually go with XFAT for my file system, and then click OK. So now once the format is done, it will essentially have completely reset the entire card. So now it will be usable and completely accessible by the computer, but all your stuff is gone, right? Well, not exactly. Like I said before, we can use a very high-end piece of recovery software to pull all the data that we just formatted back off the card. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So the software that I'm talking about is called Disk Drill. It's extremely powerful, very versatile, and easy to use, and you can download it on Windows 10 for free and recover up to 500 megabytes of files for free. It's extremely powerful, I use it all the time, and highly recommend it. So go ahead and use the link in the description to download and install Disk Drill. Then once it's installed, open it up and select your SD card from the list of drives in the center of the screen. Next, select your scan method, then hit search for lost data, and then wait for the scan to finish. And finally, once the scan is finished, you can hit this button up here, which will allow you to review all the files that were found during the scan. You can review them in the middle, 
on the left via the categories or even in the search bar up at the top. But then when you find the files that you're looking for, just put a check mark next to them, which will select them and then hit recover and choose your save location. So now when you choose a save location inside of disk drill or any piece of recovery software, make sure that it's not your SD card. You want to recover files to somewhere other than your SD card or anywhere that you're trying to recover from. So I'm just going to select my desktop and then go ahead and export my files. And boom, there we go. We got our SD card back and I kept my files. All right, last but not least, method number five, we're gonna wrap it all up. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about drivers. So drivers are essentially small chunks of software that allow a device to communicate with a computer. And so if the drivers are malfunctioning, you can reinstall them to reinstate the functionality of your device. It's pretty simple, and as long as the device is able to be connected to your computer, then you can do it. So here's how. Make sure your SD card is connected to your computer, then right click on this PC and hit manage then click the device manager on the left side and double click disk drives from the list and then right click the name of your SD card then hit uninstall and click OK then disconnect your SD card and restart your computer then once it boots up go ahead and reconnect your SD card again and then your PC will detect the SD card and reinstall the drivers and at that point the drivers for your SD card will be completely reinstalled on your PC and then it should work at least on your PC's end all right, so there we go. A lot of information, but again, I'm really excited to be covering SD cards. They're probably my favorite form of media as they're the most popular. And today we've gone over the top five ways to fix a corrupted SD card. And I really hoped that this video gave you guys some valuable information and that you got something out of it. And if you did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. Also be sure to leave us a comment down below. I always love reading your guys' comments, but that's going to be it for today's video. My name is Andrew and until next time, thank you for watching.